Warning, this video may contain extremely bad frame rate. Hey guys, I've got a new video for you today. It's going to be showing you the project I've recently been working on the past couple of days, and to be honest, I think you're going to love it. So, as you can see, I have a pig in a cage. So, I'm not sure if you can get where it's coming from, but it's not going to end up well. So, I'll show you what happens to this little piggy if we do it right. So, what I'm just going to do, just in case I break anything, stick it onto um, survival and flick this switch. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Wrong one. Oops. Don't worry. That, that, that was. Oh, shit. Um. Well, that's not that a good start, really. Basically, we'll come to that at the end. This is the where it all happens. As you can see, there's another rack there that's not going to be good for the little piggies. Um, but yeah, it's basically what I call the Baconator. So, well, I'll go to the end first and show you like what kind of the kind of idea of it. So, basically, up here is where all the pigs spawn. So, um, what happens is the dispensers, they, every, I've got it on a clock, um, outside, and it will, over, like, every 10 or 20 seconds, a uh, new set of pigs will respawn, and basically this whole room will fill up with pigs, and when I'm ready, I'll flick this switch, um, which takes out the block, takes the block out of the way so the pigs can go down into the conveyor belt down there. So, basically, what I have to do as I flick this switch, as you can see it says reproduction settings, down, stop, up, get it on. So yeah. Um and another cool thing I've added is the as you can see there's glass planes there. Planes? Panes there. So the gaps, like when the pigs sometimes when they spawn they um spawn like and kill kill each other because they spawn right next to each other. So that can sometimes cause an issue. So they um drop raw bacon which drops down into the glass panes and into another room downstairs which I'll show you in a minute so as you can see here um, the pigs are starting to get a little bit manic because it's all building up and this is gonna make my computer a little bit slower just double check I got it on the right settings yep it's all good so yeah as you can see it's a little bit manic with all the pigs so what I think we should do now is we need to go and turn the conveyor belt on um, actually I'll First, I'll show you the uh, raw uh, pork room. So basically, yeah, um, as you remember, the glass panes, all the raw bacon just drops down here, and um, I can go and pick it up and stick it in some ovens if I want to later. So let's go and turn the conveyor belt on, which moves the pigs into the special chamber that we've got for them at the end. So let's flick the switch, which turns this conveyor belt on, which basically is a set of pistons that go at a certain time. So they move and push the piggies along when I want them to move. So let's. I think we might have enough pigs now, so we can flip this switch down, stop them from doing that, and we can turn this one down on. So all the pigs will start going down into the conveyor belt, as you can see here. Um, so now we wait for the pigs to be pushed to the end. And then they get to this little room at the end, which is the where the magic happens. It's really cool. Um, it took me this whole thing um, took me about a day yesterday to set all the mechanics up, and then another couple of hours today to finish it all off. Because um, it's it's what it's something that I really wanted to do for a while. Um, using a lot of different piston mechanics and stuff, because I've I love doing that sort of technical stuff. So as you can see, the pigs are dropping in here now. So we'll, we'll have a room full of pigs eventually. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll make another video after I've done this one. Um, which will show you kind of the a bit of the mechanics of how I've done it all, if you want to know. If you don't want to know, I won't bother making the video. So stick some feedback, um, and I'll see what I can do. So yeah, now we've got quite a few pigs. Let's go and check up on the conveyor belt again. Um, see, like as you can see, all the, there's a lot of pigs there. They're all being pushed along by the pistons. It's a little bit buggy because it's going to be it's a lot of pigs and a lot of pistons. So 
it's going to make it lag a little bit and the, it's going to be a little bit buggy because they're all going to be crammed into one space. So as you can see, they're all in here now and this is when the best part comes in. As you can read here, it says warning, press only when pigs are ready and I don't know about you, but I definitely think the pigs are ready. So let's flick the switch. So what happens here is I have a few dispensers, three dispensers at the, or two dispensers at the side, which then shoot fireballs that, that have come in the new patch and in well, the new update. And sometimes it doesn't make cooked bacon, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bit of an issue that I've fallen into. So, but once we've got that, then as you can see, the nether rack sets alight and it starts making cooked bacon. So. When the pigs fall down, um, the bacon is now being cooked for me to collect by flicking another switch. So we'll, t we'll just double check we've got everything turned off in a minute. Get them all to start roasting. So we can have some yummy food at the end of this. So let's go down to the end. Like this switch, so no more pigs can go onto the conveyor belt. Which I don't think are anyway. Then we can turn the conveyor belt off. And as you can see, we have a lot of yummy bacon in there. So here we go, this is the final part. It says bacon collection um, up means that no bacon is going to come out and down means we're going to get a lot of bacon so let's flick the switch and as you can see um, some pistons come down and the water is let out to push all the bacon into this one little collection point at the end so let's just wait for the bacon to come down there's a little bit of raw here we go here's all the bacon here's all the beauty stuff so as you can see it's relatively efficient um, gives you decent bacon and well yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll catch up later and don't forget to subscribe comment if you want more um things like this and also comment if you want to uh see how i've done this all if you would like to know how to do it yourself so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you up later